Hello everyone, this is Good Names, and welcome to Medieval Engineers. So, this is my first world ever! Yay! I preloaded it, because Steam is... It's really a new game, let's just say that. Steam doesn't like to... No, Steam and top about Fraps. Well, Fraps really bogged down the loading screen, so I couldn't start at the main menu, sadly, which was my main hope. So, I've only played a little bit to get the stuff set up at the top of this hill. Sadly, it jumped me to the bottom. A little bit of lag here. Probably going to be in that thing. Whoa. Wait for it. My feet are on the ground. Thankfully. Uh, so, new game. Open this guy. Oops. Let's just wait a little bit. Thank you. Nope, nope, nope. Physics? Physics, anyone? Okay, that's probably why. So, that thing kind of got messed up, if I will have a look at it. That thing kind of got messed up in the original one, where, as you could see, probably it got destroyed on the other side. I was trying to take out a small little tree plant thing. Leg, come on, please. Come back to me, PC. Oh, there we go. So, kind of got messed up there. And then I continued up here, but to announce the first ever build in Medieval Engineers, I'm going to build a catapult, if this will ever load. So, uh, I've watched a few videos on the UI, and got it set up. Oh, what's happening with you? Oh, you're the selection cursor. You cursed little cursor. <laughs> Fine, don't work for me. Move over, one more, shift two, will that work? No, not today. Not anyway, tab. Tab works, thankfully. So yes, today we are going to test out and build a catapult. Ideally, I think I, think I have everything. I just need a torsion spring, yeah, and a pulley and such. So one thing I notice is that whenever you put anything down, small ship or large, let's just leave it at that, it sticks to the ground and then you have a perfect access point. So this is my idea on the first catapult, basically building whatever will work, I wonder if the torsion spring will fit in there, whatever will work and just calling it a catapult. It doesn't even have to move, just we have to say we built a catapult in the end. You and crank spool. What's really nice is these two different types of timber. Diagonal, cool. They don't have too many diagonal timbers. I wish they did. But these comes in sets, so you can make one, two, all the way up to what are these? Uh, I'm gonna say eight, eight long. One by ones to one by one by one to one by one by eights. So, torsion spring. No, what was, what was that? Ha! Ah. Yep, it's just gonna be a thing. Okay, that's the right way. But I dug the springs. Yeah, it's not. A, it's not gonna fit there. And B, I don't think it works like that. Honestly, just, just my personal opinion. I don't think that that is gonna work like that. Oh, I'm flying blind with these. Usually I have the nice UI thing of space engineers on, but conveniently that is not here right now. Huh. I'm just gonna move that over one. So it looked like it was. <laughs> It looks like it will be connecting kind of off a little bit. I'm gonna put in some base supports. So this is what I was meaning. As I scroll down, it decreases by one each time. I think it takes from both sides. Yeah, I was placing it in the middle there. Uh, it always depends on where you're placing it from. And what heights this all doing? This all is doing. Uh, as I said, this is the first 
early build that I've done. All I built was that thing, which is really cool. And you can place things. Move these. That may or, not, may or may not be a problem. Well, so you will be a problem. Three. Yeah, I need to destroy some more terrain. So yeah, I can't really spool you in. I was trying to use the flying mode. Jetpack. Let's try and use the where is it? Middle mouse button? Yeah. Use that to scroll it in and out, but it actually wasn't working. Sadly. You one-sided little drum piece. Oh, I'm in the way now. Oh yes! Yes it did. <sighs> the flight of the catapult. You're actually being really steady with fraps now. You guys got along, finally! The world is complete. Aww. That's a weird little <sighs> It just took you all along there. I had you backwards. Okay, now which way is the right way? That way, yay! Oh, so actually, I take back what I said at the start of this that catapults don't, do actually have a pre tensioning set into them, and that you can't automatically. You can't automatically just pull. It won't automatically stop at 45. That's what I said. There we go won't automatically stop at 45, it'll stop at 45 in the opposite direction. I guess you could use that to your advantage, but not here, not right now. Hmm. Let's have the mechanical advantage we need. Find out. Right now. T. And then over here. Selection box. Wait, did I press F? Let's try this again. Press T. Yay! All this work, and we finally get a catapult. Isn't it so rewarding? Uh, oh. It's forward based on. That's weird, it's forward based off of me. I, I guess I'd assume that in me. And with this catapult, with the tension spring, you can only go up to 180 degrees in either direction. Interesting mechanic. <laughs> Literal mechanic. So, we finally got ourselves a catapult, even though my flying is greatly distorted. Ooh, bug. So, when I press W, it wants to add gravity to myself. And S makes me go forwards. Reset flying mode. There we go. That was weird. I guess if that ever happens to you, just hit, just reset the flying mode. And it should work. So actually, we need some borders on this. So, for... Ah! I didn't say it now! Wait for my cue, please. Please. So beautiful. Now it's gone. Oh well. Now you're weird. Thank you. For that. And now I have to get this all set up before I lower the spring down. There we go. 
So that is a catapult save. Saving. And they have a nice little gear. This world for me. Saved. My first ever world. So now, to christen our catapult, I brought in a very special friend for medieval engineers, Taurus. The cow. I copied him, right? Whoa. No, I just copied the whole entire building. Okay, anyone want to experience physics? You're a station! <sighs> no, that's. Let's have fun with this. You stationary. Yeah, you still exist. Be aware of falling boulders, mist. Yeah. Physics that. <laughs> I'm not going crazy. I told you I'm not going crazy. Surely I told you I wasn't going crazy. We. Oh. Look at the splinters of that. Whatever wood. Oh, this is supposed to be hay, but it has red. Ah. Oh. Okay. Quick load. Yes, please. Catapult me! I will fly across the sky like a shooting star as a catapult goes. It almost seems like there should be a lake down there. This is nice gradual slope. There's a mountain in the background. Ooh, we're back. White on the back. I might be recording that. So this is the second part. Spin, 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 spin. <sighs> Got your energy out yet? Oh, I need a stopping mechanism. Yep, that would be nice. Oh no, my dapper nose aren't on. Yay! So I just went through and made a little modification to make sure it stopped. No that shouldn't. That shouldn't in fact affect anything. In fact, the infected catapult. Newest in innovations of siege weaponry. So, to christen my first ever catapult, I brought in a small friend, which will be with me for a while. Taurus, the cow. Yay, I made a copy of him last time. Let's just say it was interesting. Hello, Taurus. Hello. How are you doing? Are you in the bush? You're in the bush. Yay. Me and Taurus go way back. Like, Aztec times. Wee. Hello, Taurus. Enjoy your nice trip. So, this is about it. We're gonna be launch. We're just about to launch Taurus. Say goodbye, Taurus. You just said goodbye, you didn't hear it. He's in the stars most times. And I'll see you in the next one. Oh. Taurus! Yay! He's alive. <laughs>